very long time. What is your verdict? Find the defendant guilty. The deadly narcotic. Say to the devil of the jury, you've got to get a hold of yourself. from this week wearing so much makeup but we're going to get ready so I can begin my day and get a move on you know so I'm going to show you what I do in the morning it's very simple I'm going to show you because I haven't told, talked about skincare in like forever I feel like so for face wash I use the youth of the people kale and green tea superfood cleanser I work with uh, youth to the people as well. I love them. I genuinely use this every single day in the morning. Um, I have a different cleanser that I use at night, but I'll talk about that another time. But I also use this at night too. It just kind of depends on the day and how my skin's doing. Okay, and then in the morning, I also like to use my Ordinary Niacinamide Zinc um, Serum, but I think I'm supposed to put moisturizer on before serum. I just learned that. So for moisturizer, I use the Dr. Dr. Barbara Sturm Face Cream for in the morning. Again, I have a different one for at night because I know this is going to come off faster and it's just lighter for putting on makeup and stuff. I love this stuff. That's never breaking me out, nothing like that. This stuff is the shit. I'll link all the products I'm using, or at least I'll try to link them all below. You know me, guys. Very forgetful. I don't even know what I'm doing with my YouTube channel at this point. But you know what? We'll do an update later, maybe. Anyway, now I'm gonna put on this serum. I just put on a very minimal amount and just kind of spread it in with the moisturizer. And then last but not least, I just use this Avene, I don't know how to say it, thermal water for a little mist. And that's it. This is what I look like in my bathroom when I'm drinking my coffee. Which is very watered down at this point, honestly. It's all good. This camera's like slowly, slowly dying on me. If anybody has some good vlogging camera recommendations, I know there's like a Sony one or something, let me know because I'm kind of looking to upgrade. Maybe it'll motivate me to do better post consistently. I don't know. Okay, I did my makeup off camera because nobody cares, but yeah. This hat looks so stupid on me the fuck why does it look cute on everyone i'm about to run outside because i really in the mood for a bagel as well as i need to pick up some garbage bags and like cleaning supplies but i got this package from outdoor voices you can't see my face uh, i did not vlog fashion week whatsoever because i'm a piece of shit but actually no it was just like really hectic really stressful like had probably several mental breakdowns this week basically that's that it's over now thank the lord i mean super grateful super appreciative for all of you guys you guys are the reason i was able to go to events and bloody bloody blue 
bought. It was very like draining on my mental state, my social battery. She's gone. Anyway, I'm going doing this hike with outdoor voices though. So I think they sent over these little leggings. They're kind of cool actually. They're very like wetsuit material. And a little sports bra. I love outdoor voices. Super cute, so excited for that. I don't even know when that is. I should probably check. Anyway, I gotta go take out my cycling and do some errands. Bye, little kitty. Find the defendant guilty. not You've got to get a hold of yourself. coffee. I got a bagel. I secured the bag. Yeah. Shall we say I got an everything bagel BLT. So good. I can't really eat cream cheese anymore because it just like makes my tummy feel some type of way. Which is really sad because I grew up on cream cheese bagels. Thought I would eat my bagel with you and give you a little chit chat update on me while Luca's out of the house and I have the house to myself to film a little. So moral of the story, like I haven't even started the story yet, but like moral of the story is like I'm slowly deteriorating and this week was a lot for me, socially, mentally, physically drained. I feel a lot better today. I took the last two days and like really rested. I only had like two things to go to between the last two days. So it was chill, not too stressed. But I think just overall within the past week, I've been around pretty much only influencer creators, people in the same field as me. And as much as I love having friends who do the same thing as me, it's almost harder and like, it's really hard to have authentic friendships in this industry I feel like I feel like I found a few people who I love and like feel genuinely close to but most of the people you know not to say these are bad people or anything and I'm like I'm not trying to like start drama but it's true like it's hard to feel like your friendships are authentic when everything when even when you're hanging out is like about social media like i can't like we don't hang out and talk about anything other than social media it's always let's take a photo let's take a reel like oh do you see this brandy like oh blah, blah blah are you going to this event like it just never stops and it can get really toxic i think at least for me and i've seen it happen to my friends who are in this industry too once you're around that 24 seven, you start to like compare yourself. You start to feel so much pressure. Like it's like, shit, I need to, like you're posting a reel today. Shit, I should post one too. Like, you know, and it's just like, it's so hard to escape this whole work life because it is our personal life. And then we're constantly thinking about what we're wearing, what we're eating, where we're going, who we're going with, like blah, 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 blah. Like this person's going there. Did you get invited? Like blah, 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 blah. It's just like, it never stops. and. I think I've always like had a good grasp on like separating myself from like comparing myself to people and blah 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 and maybe that's because I've always had a really small circle but past week it's been a lot and I've just mentally felt so much pressure to be like posting all the time I didn't post anything pretty like on time like even Hawaii like I post so late on everything you guys know my YouTube videos like it just makes me comparing myself all these young people so successful and i'm like oh i'm young but i'm not i don't know like it's just like there's so much and it's so easy to get caught up and i think i just want to like go back to my roots and like really like figure out what i want to be creating and what i want to be putting out there like i'm like oh my god am i embarrassing like just so many thoughts and you guys are the best you, I posted something on my story being like, sorry for posting shitty content. And you guys are like, what are you talking about? Which I really appreciate. But to me, it's like not up to par with what I know I can do. 
and I've just been very frustrated lately. I hate, I've been hating my apartment because obviously it's not my apartment and so there's certain things I can't change, but I'm gonna try and make it my own a little bit because we do have a really great space and I need to make this a place where I can work and feel inspired. I just haven't been feeling inspired lately and very drained, as I said, like a million times, but it's kind of like a little update on me and my thoughts. I really just wanna take some time for myself and really work and put out things that I love like I feel like my everything I'm putting out is so mediocre and it's just like not okay with me. I find it embarrassing. Um, I think I try a lot, a lot harder on Instagram and like I take more pride in my Instagram because like it's my outfits, blah blah blah. But my YouTube is like a shit show. But I also don't know what I want to do with my YouTube. I just don't know because I can't vlog every single day because um, at the end of the day, like I don't do many things. I should have vlogged this week. If I was a good YouTuber, I would have vlogged this week, but it gave me too much like anxiety to like vlog, real vlog, vlog, take pictures, attend things, socialize. It was just too much. I am actually writing down right now that to look through my last two videos, like comments and write down the video videos you guys want to see and like brainstorm and really try and plan out. I want to make not to say more produced videos, but like just more thought out planned videos. And I think they might come out better, might be better for you guys. I'll still do vlogs here and there. I'll probably vlog, but just very minimally throughout the day. If I'm doing something fun, then I'll vlog it. But if not, then I don't know. And then we'll have like shorter, more concise, interesting vlogs rather than like long ass, boring ass vlogs. If you know what I'm saying. I also want to do more outfit videos. I think you guys really like those. I actually really enjoyed filming my outfit video. I also liked editing it. So I think I'm gonna do that. We also have this white backdrop my boyfriend put up. I hated it at first, but now I think, okay, it could be good. I'm gonna get some lights because unfortunately we don't have a window facing, at least on my side of the backdrop. We don't have a window facing it. So I would need to get some lights in order for it to work, but I think that's fine. Yeah, I kind of just really want to be pushing out amazing content and like seeing good feedback and stuff. That's my goal. I think I'm a little just lost. I think that's it. I think I'm a little lost in who I am, what I'm doing. I start worrying a little bit about the future, like with my career and like think, oh, I should have a business by now. Like blah, blah, blah. I just put a lot of pressure on myself because, you know, you see all these young, young people with like fucking full-fledged businesses and shit like that. Everyone moves at their own place, everyone blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot of, the comparison is starting to get to me, let's just say. I just felt like a bagel today. I never feel like bagels anymore. And so I got a bagel. I also am continuing. I started it last night. I literally got this shit months ago and never really even did it. So I'm officially starting the do it for yourself journal. I'll link it below if they still sell it, but I've done a few pages in it and I actually think it really helps. Like, it's just about motivating yourself, telling yourself you can do this, you can, you know, conquer all your goals and dreams and whatever. And then once you have that motivation and belief that you can do it, everything will happen. So I'm just telling myself that, I don't know. Anyway, that's me. <laughs> I'm just gonna get back to work. Nothing crazy planned for the next few weeks at all. I'm gonna buckle down. I think my boyfriend wants to do the same. Yeah. Other than that, I'm very happy. I'm very blessed. I cannot believe this is my life. Cannot believe it. I miss my mother though. I really miss my mother. And this reminds me, I need to call my mother. So I'm gonna call my mother and eat my bagel. My mom isn't responding. I literally started crying last night in bed because I was like, shit, I haven't called my mom in so long. I miss her so much. Hey everyone, it's the next day. Um, at like nighttime, my boyfriend's calling me even though he's on the balcony. Hello. I was saying, I just got all these shoe organizers. I can link them down below. I'm sure a lot of you have them already, but I had a mess down here before and 
now I'm starting to organize. I think I'm going to buy more so that they can go all the way up. But they're pretty decent. Like, I just put my shoes in there, close it up. It's pretty lit. So, yeah, I still have a ton of shoes out. I'm going to leave my boots out, I think. And then I still have so many sneakers and stuff, so I think I'm just going to get more. And continue up here because I think this is the best way to store my shoes right now. A lot of clothes I still need to put away. This is all clothes I want to shoot. Sweaters. Lucas stuff. More clothes to put away. But we just ordered Cafe Mogador. Which I'm very excited for. I haven't had it in a while. It's the best Greek salad that I've ever had personally. Um, I just feel like it's very fresh. So I'm very excited because I've been eating a lot of pasta and shit. So I'm excited. Also got this TU sweatshirt thank you so much my hair is crazy right now um very tired yeah that's what we're doing just cleaning up organizing did a lot of like admin work today all i was literally on my computer all day so yeah and then tomorrow i think i'll do content i'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow i like fixed my equinox mentorship was like messed up for a little bit so i fixed it all up and we're gonna do that tomorrow and yeah hopefully bring you along i will vlog our dinner too but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I also got a jewelry organizer, which I'll show you guys once I set up. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm gonna keep putting away clothes and organizing this bottom area down here. I'm also watching Manifest, because my girl Luna's in it. And I love her. And she's actually a really good actress. I'm on episode five, season two. night and um i'm on my way to meet lucy we're going to a rag and bone event and i have no idea what to expect and i'm vlogging on my phone because i forgot my camera i'm very britney spears schoolgirl vibes right now i wonder what lucy's wearing i have literally no idea no idea how casual this is i got ready in like two seconds this is what i was wearing today so i just stuck with it yeah. Ghost Knot World Collective I've been getting high just to pass the time I might throw on a beat then write a rhyme Might fire up the grill, a little wine and dine Might be inside but I'm feeling fine I let my mind go as I meditate Free flow through the phase, heave ho Give me space, no need, give me chase Old dog, no new tricks A1, blue chip sharp as the tip of two picks Always in exclusives, trying to get a new whip So I do spit the art of storytelling Like the rebirth of new slick grit Authentic, never counterfeit, too legit to quit Chaotic up studio acoustics Looking out the window, the sunlight shining Stuck in the bubble of my crib, so I'm rhyming Passing the time each day with creation Because I get to travel with my imagination
see with my boy toy at the park. Um, excuse the mess in the background. I've been doing content and stuff all day. But I quickly wanted to show you guys a bunch of room stuff that I got recently from Urban and Amazon. And then a bunch of shoes I also got. I'm going to do a huge like fall haul of like things I've purchased for fall like all across the board. But I'll give you a little sneak peek and I'll leave all the links below of course. But I've just been really into like wanting to spruce up my area, my workspace. So I'm a little more inspired. So I did a little shopping. First thing actually is these little clips from Free People. I just think they're so cute. So I got these, they come with two. Um, then also from Free People, I actually got these on Revolve, but I'll link the ones on Revolve and from Free People down below. But these gorgeous boots, they're like this brown color. They like cinch in the back, stunning. I'm obsessed with them. They're very Ashley Olsen. I get so many compliments when I wear them too. And I love the size of the heel, everything. Gorgeous. And then I also got these boots from Free People. They're these black, simple, low heel cowboy boots. These just look good with everything. They're very cash, but I didn't have anything like this. And I think they're just perfect. I love the like feel of them. And then the last pair of shoes I got from free people wear these black like riding boot style boots and I love these for like daytime because they're like super fall but not super dressy like they're very cash um, I wore them out today actually with this little plaid skirt if you saw <laughs> not the best frisbee outfit but I'm obsessed with these these are like my new favorite boots I love them so much sticking with shoes I also got these burnt red color Jeffrey Campbell cowboy boots i have not worn these yet but they're gorgeous i mean the colors everything perfect for fall super excited to style these i got those on revolve and then i also got this pair of asics another sneaker for fall they're gold silver and black so comfortable i wore these to the dentist today i love and then last pair of shoes I have to show you guys are these Adidas that Adidas actually sent over. They're their new Adidas. For um, I like them because they have a little bit of a platform. They're a little bit higher than the originals, I think. I love the colors. They're red and navy. Obsessed. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll try and link them all below if they're available still. But little shoe haul. And now on to the home stuff. Oh, I actually also got this pair of pants from Free People that I thought I would show you. They're by one teaspoon. But they're like these gorgeous baggy cargo pants. They sit like mid-rise. They're green. I love the pockets on the back. They're just such a good fit. So if you're interested, again, I'll link those below too. Love, love. Anywho. Okay, now on to home goods. So the first thing is this gorgeous. You can see I already have this in my bathroom set up. But this gorgeous glass gold hardware little container for like my bathroom counter stuff so it's not a mess because my boyfriend is always complaining and then if you can see there's like dried flowers on there i think this can also be like a shower caddy thing because there's like a little hanger here but i got this off urban so good if you guys have any good homeware stores websites let me know because i usually just go and look on urban but it's i don't know i don't know i kind of want somewhere else that's a little more unique Anyway, next I got this alarm clock on Urban too. I just think it's so cute and like old fashioned looking and I just liked it for my bedside table. And I just like had an urge to be woken up by this. So yeah, I just picked up that. I also got these little knobs. Like imagine that's the wall. These are like hangers. They're like wood here and then these this like really fun like colored glass. I don't know, I just think it's cute, quirky. And I got three of them, because I'm gonna hang them all up and hang my bags on them or something. This one is like this orange yellow color, this one's blue, this one's like purple. I think it's staggered. These will look cool on the wall, just something fun. I just mainly wanted more color in the house because I feel like we have none. Um, I also picked up these candles from Urban because they were on sale. I just love the container. Mm, smells good too. And I love the little tassel. This one's just green. And then I got 
I got an orange one too. Very cute, just very decorative. I also picked up these coasters. It comes with four, but I just have two here. I think they're really cute. Love them. Love the stitching, love the colors, love everything. I also got these candles, which I'm really excited for. I ordered little long candle holders, like the, the small little glass holders, because I didn't have any. These candles are so cute. I don't know if you can see, but they're all striped. I'm trying to take them out, but at the same time, I don't really want to take them out yet. I don't have nails. I don't want to break them, so. But you can see they're all striped, so colorful, so fun. So I'm so, uh, uh, so, I'm so excited to place those around the house. I ordered a couple books for my coffee table, if you're interested in coffee table type books. This book I actually already had, but I thought I'd show it anyway. Do the fucking work. Such a great little mini book with a lot of motivational, inspiring little blurbs. It's by a graphic design artist, or a bunch of graphic design artists, so. Um, I really like that book, so I keep that on my coffee table. Then I also got this huge book called In Vogue. Basically, it's um, an illustrated history of, of the world's most famous fashion magazine, Vogue. And it basically goes back and highlights like really important times with the magazine, covers, things like that, with a lot of history in it too. I haven't had the chance to read through all of it yet, but I think this is a good, if you're gonna have one Vogue book, I think this one's a good one to have for people to look at while they're visiting. So yeah, that one. And then I got these two visual guide, I don't know who they're by, Smithsonian. They're literally Smithsonian. I got the book of design, which as you can imagine is full of inspiration. I just wanted books that were going to not only inspire me, but others and have a lot of history in it because I sometimes feel like I am not very educated when it comes to art and design because as much as I did study it, I didn't learn. So yeah, I got this one and then I also got the fashion version. I also love the colors of these. This one, again, goes through the eras, fashion, very great educational book. So yeah, I got both of those, they're both really heavy, but I got all of the books on Amazon. They are like on the pricier side, but they're books you're gonna have forever on your coffee table or wherever you want them. So yeah, I, I thought it was worth it. Oh, I also got this, which is basically a poster hanger, magnetic hanger, with, like two black borders, and then it comes with a string and then you can just hang your poster along it and it keeps it straight and everything, so I don't have to use like sticky tack because I have a poster I kinda wanna hang up. So I just got that, that was super cheap. I also got these lights. If you're a creator or anything, this is for you. But I got these newer LED lights. I got two of them. I'll link the exact ones I got below, but basically they're great for self-shooting, especially on like cloudy days like today. I shot a whole TikTok reel, whatever, outfit reel against this white backdrop. And I used this light to light it up because the light dark today but you can also adjust it so it's not as bright and it comes with like little filters over it but it doesn't look that great in this camera but it works for my iphone really well but yeah so yeah if you're interested in those those are good to have if you're like shooting stuff all the time and yeah that's my little haul getting dinner soon with sarah who i've never met but she seems like a cutie so i'm excited we're going to bar pity okay i'm about to head off to dinner this is what I'm wearing. I feel like it's not that fancy. And it's like Friday night, so I feel like it should be a little fancier. But like, I'm not going out, so. Scrolling threads, depressing what I'm reading. I ain't trying to leave the bed. They telling me it's grief, but ain't no one around me dead. Watching numbers climb, kind of get into my head. Simon says, Post up at the crib, stop the spread. They bother with the closet, really. Y'all are rocking sweats. Pops is sick, got me watching how we cough, how we sit. Has he caught it? Probably not. I ain't risking if he did. Keep your distance, this is serious. I ain't felt this way yet. Actually, ever is it fair? I'm asking peers to weigh in. But everybody going through it. Can my shoulders take it? Nope. Third eye blind, dog. I'm barely staying. Eat, sleep, Repeat me in the beast to cope with processing a deep seated need to heal what's broken. I'm keeping the peace, even though I feel like going off. Live from the bottom, holding on and on.